We've heard a lot about the problems. What about the solutions? And a lot of times we think, what can we do? We're up against a Goliath. We're up against arguably a criminal racketeering enterprise called the family courts. What can we do? Back in 2012, I was working for a presidential campaign and the candidate said, I don't know what you can do, but you can do something. Do something. And when I heard that, I said, that's a pretty low bar. I can do something. That's pretty easy to do. I don't have to just say, I can do something. This camera right here is the camera that I bought and I started taking videos. I had no idea what I was doing. But I said, whatever I'm gonna try to do, I better be willing to do it poorly and learn from the mistakes and keep pressing on. I was in my backyard talking to a camera thinking, people are probably thinking this is pretty stupid. And some people told me that. But that's okay because almost 10 years later, still standing and getting stronger than ever. You can do something. But I also say this, don't do something just by yourself. You may start something, but plan to align yourself with other people. That's why everywhere I go, if I can, I wear the Dad Talk Today cap. I didn't start Dad Talk Today, but I was very glad to be there to assist with anything that I could. Many, many of the organizations and people that I've been involved with, I have nothing to do as far as active involvement except that I support them. And now they've come to say, can you bring your camera with you and make sure you're recording? That was something, and that's how I began with that. But the other thing I would say is this, Speak the truth at all times. People want to shut you up. They want to say that you're angry. They want to do something to embarrass you. But we need to speak the truth. Now you may be wondering, hey, he was wearing a grandparent's shirt earlier. Why is he wearing this every Black Life Matters shirt? This is an example of speaking the truth. Black Lives Matters the organization that everybody knows, was seeking the destruction of the nuclear family. That was the communist version. Every black life matters is the Christian version. And it talks about the importance of children being born. It talks about the importance of getting abortion clinics out of black neighborhoods. It talks about the importance of making sure the government is not trying to replace a father with government. And it talks about a children's right to have both parents, including daddy, in their lives. I would invite you to see every BLM, every BLM.com. This is an aspect of speaking truth. When you speak it, sometimes you get criticized or whatever, but keep speaking truth. And I think this is important as well because even though it is affecting all of us, I will be honest with you, and this is not in any way supposed to be um, disparaging of any race or anything. The impact of the government has destroyed the black family. The black family survived Jim Crow South. Family courts have destroyed it. And we need to be able to speak that truth that every father matters Government is not daddy. The real father is daddy. And we need to talk about family integrity. Final thing I would say is this. Go to your churches. Churches often fail miserably on this issue. Churches should be speaking truth. If you go to a church, you speak truth. You will be laughed at. You will be scoffed at. People will try to dismiss you. But keep speaking truth. Make sure that your churches get involved at the same time. What can we do? I don't know what you can do, but you can do something. And that's how I started, by just doing something. And it's amazing because if you do something, your something combined with others will grow and become much more than a little something. You can be part of a big something and we will change the laws and we will not let this evil system
stay around for our children and our grandchildren. Thank you.